In this lesson, we're going to look at how to get a select value with JavaScript. So it's pretty easy to get the value of an input box within JavaScript, but when you're dealing with select form controls, there are a few things that you need to know about when trying to retrieve its value. So on the page here at the moment, I've just got a simple select box and it has an ID of languages. And as you can see, the options inside are various different options of programming languages and their value is set to their corresponding names. So if I make a choice, and then I actually want to get the value of that selection that the user has made in JavaScript. We simply reference the select box itself, so it has an ID of languages, and then we can simply access its value property. So you might be thinking that's really simple. There are a few cases where you might need to do a little bit of extra work. So for example, if you're trying to support older browsers, directly calling the value property on the form control won't actually work, so you might need to do something else, such as using the selected index property. So here you can see the selected index is four, which matches up with the selection we've made as the array will be zero indexed. There is another property that we can use in conjunction with this, which is options. And you can see this gives us an array like result, which actually has all of the different options as HTML elements, which we can access individually. So combining this with selected index, we could do something like this. And you can see I can pull out the specific HTML element. And so if I wanted to access the text inside of the option tag, or do something else with it, I've got access to the actual HTML element. So finally, these two approaches work fine if we're just using a single selection in our select box, but what if we've got a multiple select box that allows the user to select multiple items? So if I convert the select box into a multiple selection and select a few different things, if I go back to the console, and try and access its value again, you can see I just get the first result in our selection box and the others are ignored. So there's another property on our select box control, which is the selected options, which returns another array-like property that this time returns all of the HTML option elements that have been selected. So we could convert this to an array and map it to the option values that are inside of the option elements. And that would just give us a string representation of each of the values inside of an array. So just a little bit of extra work to do with the multiple select box, but it is just knowing all of the different properties that are available on the select box controls. 